Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. I have fixed my microphone so hopefully the quality is a little bit better and as you can tell by the update, the new steampunk rework is now out. The update has just released today. I'm doing this in my dorm because it is, is an, it's just insanely laggy for me in the actual area and I did play it on stream with you guys. It's out in private servers and I think public servers as well. Only level 200 can play this update, which in my opinion is a joke. I'm really not happy with that. But I am level 3800 but I'm just feeling really sad for the players who can't play it. But the Steampunk rework is out and I'm going to be showing you it and how much it actually costs. I have added up the total. It's not pretty. It's really not pretty to be honest and I just want to let you guys know that you only have 20 days to buy these items. You have 20 days. Uh, you also have a new code which I will be making a video on as well. This is the new uh, set, the new steampunk set. You've got a top hat, it's going to be loaded in. A top hat for 2500 I'll actually get my calculator out for this, okay? Save yourself the work, I'm going to get my calculator out. One sec, let me just grab my calculator. Here we go, clear the board. So we've got the hat for 2500 One sec, clear. 2500 Wait. Okay, yeah, the hat is 2500 Sorry about that. I had like an me error message pop up. We've got the gloves for 5000 We've got the goggles for 7500 The mechanical arms for 10000 You've got the sword for 10000 Then you've got the skirt for 10000 The wings from the maze are now on sale for 13000 the bodice with rework is now 20,000. I think that was what it was before, actually. And then the boots are 25,000. And in total, this set costs 103,000 candies. And I know you've all just gone, oh, are you serious? Or unless you've been farming like crazy, you've gone, oh, all right, that's all right then. This is insanely expensive. And obviously the, the items are on sale for 20 days and probably 19 by the time everyone can actually play it. This doesn't include players under level three, 200, but yeah, this is the brand new set and I'm going to get naked real quick just to show why is it counting down? I didn't agree to this. Okay. I'm just going to take off all of my clothes, including my hair, including this one. He takes off. Okay. Thank you. We're going to try the hat first. We're going to try on the hat. I am going to put my light on. Can I have my light on please? That's a bit better, isn't it? That's a bit better. Hmm? So this is the Steampunk Alchemist Top Hat. It's got... How many toggles? How many toggles for a hat? Blimey now. We've got 35 toggles in total and some little turn features off. You can have the sash on or off. You can have the scissors on or off as well. You can have the ribbon tail on or off. You can have the gears gemstone or none you can have a shiny trim or a smooth trim i think the shiny trim looks better to be honest i really like that and then i think the i don't want to see this stop <laughs> and then you can have the positions for where you want it to go do i think it's a good price to be honest i, I don't really know i think you can make some really good outfits with it but i don't think it's gonna get the height that it deserves at the same time you know what I mean next we've got the gauge tier gloves I need to put the human arms on for this hold on sorry I didn't even think you need to have the human arms for this here we go here are the human arms with this item I have the human arms on why is it not working what is going on Okay, there we go. Now the gloves. There we go. Uh, these are the Steampunk Gauge Tier Gloves. We've got 13 toggles in total and you can alter to have like the front glove on or like the sleeve or like just in general like which one you want. I think this is for like mix match or whatever. I think this is like the default one. And you can have the arm buckles, the hand buckles or the hand strap taken off. Okay, yeah, it looks pretty good. I really like the look of that, actually. 
and these cost 5,000. I think 5,000 is a bit expensive for some gloves, I'm not going to lie to you. They do look good, but it's, it's a bit pricey, it's a bit pricey. Next we've got the goggles for 7,500. Wow, oh okay, I can see why, That I can see why, 100%. Okay, I didn't expect that. Wow, okay. Uh, how many toggles does this have? 21 toggles. Okay, I think 21 toggles is quite good, to be honest. And you can have them on top of your head in my horns. You can have them pointed out a little bit. Just like different altars. Or you can have them resting on top of your head, still moving. <laughs> okay, let's look at what you can turn on and off. We have the left magic lens, the right mag lens. The gemstones can be taken on or off. Or the strap can be taken on and off, so around the face that can be taken on or off. Uh, you can have it in a different position. Okay. I think default it looks like a good position. You can have moving gadgets or not moving gadgets. You can have lens, lighter glass, vibrant or glowing. Glowing looks, looks really cool. I really like that. You can have magnifying lens, lighter glass, vibrant glass. Or glowing. Okay, I think I think that means for like the other glasses. Do I think seven thousand five hundred is a good price? I think it's a bit expensive. I think it's a bit expensive. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's so expensive. And next we have something I was very hyped to see is the steampunk mechanical arms for ten thousand. These better blow me. Ooh. Va -va -voom. Okay, yeah, I agree. 10,000 is a good price because look at these. Oh, wow. 10 toggles. Okay. You can alter the top shoulder plates, the right upper arm, left lower arm, right hand. Complete. Oh, okay. You completely toggle like everything. Okay. I really like that. That looks really really good so 10 toggles and it costs 10,000 candies i think that is a good price to be honest i think that's probably the best price we've had so far i really like that next we've got the sword and the belt which you know obviously we know how it works it's got um a couple of toggles got 25 toggles you know bam 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 yes ma'am we already know how that works don't we next we've got the steampunk clockwork skirt we also know how this works by now, just a little recap. She's got a couple of toggles, you can have the belt, you can have everything. Very cute. It's just me, what do you think Royal High should have stackable skirts? But the bodices, I think they should. I think they should. We could have insane toggles, that, 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 that would be insane. But those are both 10,000, I think that's both worth it. Sword maybe could be 5,000 in my opinion. The wings, which are now for sale, for the last two years you could win these from the maze. So. What am I doing? You could win this from the maze, and there were so many good toggles for this. This is personally my favourite toggle, the dragon wing toggle. Then you can have the harness, the mechanical ones, and different sizes as well. Really, really, really nice. I really like that. And that is 13,000, which I think is very expensive. So I think the price for it might still be quite low. So hopefully, if you're lucky, you can get one. I do have a double of it. Thank God, honestly because that can help me get a little bit of diamonds, even though they're not going to be useful. And then next we've got the reworked Steampunk Inventor Bodice, with updated sleeves for 2024. So let's have a little look at this. Oh, wow. I took away the thing again, damn it. Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, I really love these sleeves, to be honest. What's the jab art? Okay, the little ruffly thing. I thought that was to have in front of your neck when you're eating dinner, so it will catch any little bits and bobs. I thought, I was a bit confused why it was there, to be honest. I thought it was like, you just had it on standby in case you had to tuck into a meal, but that's just me. <laughs> the undershirt, you can take it off. The chest undershirt, okay, you can take that on. You can take the straps off, the choker, choker jam. The waist buckles, necklaces. Okay, you can take a lot of stuff off. You can have short bodice, long bodice dress shirt you can have the sleeves sleeves two sleeves three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve i love these sleeves personally i am in love with them that's insane thank you next 
then we got the bodice with the sleeves or just the sleeves which is really good because I was getting a bit concerned on how that would work uh, I, re I really really like the translucent option without the bell that looks really 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 nice um, let me quick select all and put it as blue Does, do patterns work? patterns do work okay let me try it with my favourite pattern just so you guys can see yeah okay it does work looks amazing i can't wait to put that on my carrot like my oc i'm so glad i have that do i think twenty thousand is a good price for it i think yeah i think yeah it's an okay price i think it's quite fair i think it is a fair price and then next we've got the brand new boots the twenty five thousand. a bit expensive and i've seen people offering eight hundred thousand diamonds for these that's it so hey that's insane but uh, these are the boots, looking really cute, looking really cute, see? How many toggles do we have? We have 19 toggles. Okay, so we've got shoes, we've got the waistband colour, matching pants, waistband off, waistband matching colour. I think I like the option waistband off the most. Tip sole of the shoes can be metal or smooth. I like metal the most, I like the most texture. You can have the boot base taken off so it's like a stiletto or however you say it i don't really know. i don't i think that might be right i haven't got that much knowledge on heels to be honest i think it's like a stiletto i don't know you can have the ankle straps taken off or the tip of the shoe taken off which to have your grippers out oh oh to make it like one of them like heel sandal things probably but we've also got boots look at these boots guys look at these boots insane look at that Looks insane. And you can also have a mechanical leg. Look at that. That's actually insane. Or you could have both mechanical legs. I'm seeing Iron Man cosplays in the making with this. I'm not even going to lie. It looks insane. That looks insane. I'm actually quite in love with these shoes. You know, I'm actually really in, in love with them. Because not only does it look absolutely amazing and breathtakingly cool it's also representing a lot of things like like prosthetic limbs for example with like a really cool steampunky victorian vibe onto it like i really really like that i'm in love look you've got like the wires and glowing parts and everything i love this i love this do i think twenty five thousand is a good price <laughs> I really don't know, okay? I really don't know if it's a good price or not. Respectfully, I really don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna buy the set in candy, to be honest, because I just don't know. But at the same time, I don't know how much it's gonna be costing in trading. I do expect the value of the set to be extremely high. So if you guys are gonna be thinking that the goggles are gonna be like 20K max, you're mistaken. They're probably gonna be at least 50K just for the goggles. 19 days left to buy these is a bit of a joke to be honest it's a bit of a joke i'm not even gonna lie i didn't want to turn this video into like a whole moaning session and being negative but this update there isn't that much good about it i did do a stream and everyone in it was disappointed because there were so many negative factors about it and the fact that we only have 19 days to actually grab all of this and it costs 103,000 candies and if you don't believe me you can calculate it for yourself is insane and that's only this set that's without the other accessories that you're going to want and without all the dorm things that cost candy now but as well because i've added loads of dorm things as well that cost candy so if you're going to decorate go into furniture look at all of this insane actually insane so i don't really know I don't really have any positive thoughts on this update. I do like a few things about it, yeah. But uh, I do think a lot of changes could be made. I think there could be a lot of things made to alter this update and make it into like a better thing for everyone to enjoy. I think Royal High definitely could have listened to the community on this one. It is good, but the fact that players under level 200 can't play it really breaks my heart. Really breaks my heart. But what do you guys think of this update? Thank you so much for watching. I do recommend you guys to read a tweet that I recently put out because I've been seeing a lot of nasty comments and stuff on Twitter 
and other platforms recently so I just wanted to clear up my side of things so if you guys can read that it would really mean a lot because I don't really like seeing like insults like I want to say that if you think my videos are clickbaity that's completely up to you if you've watched one or two videos and decided that you don't like my channel that's completely fine you can stop watching me from then on because then you have a complete opinion on me but some of these people have genuine hate towards me and I don't know why they think it's okay to write insults on the internet I really don't but I don't want to let you guys know I'm open to criticism but insults does cross a very big line for me and if you guys uh, have any changes that you would like me to make in my content so I can make everyone happy that would be amazing because I do really want to be a really good youtuber but I can't be a good youtuber if you guys won't criticize my content and you're just yelling insults it's not very nice okay I appreciate the compliments, but if you're going to be YouTube, you have to accept compliments about your work and criticizing, like, stuff about your work. And I want to be able to accept both. So if you guys can give me any, like, tips on any sort of things you want changed or added, that would mean the absolute world to me. And I'd be able to make everyone happy, which is my goal at the end of the day, to build a nice community. It's just not very nice to go on Twitter and say that I'm pissing lots of people off. It hurts my feelings. So, yeah. <laughs> But thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. What do you think of this update? I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos just based on like little factors of the update, like little other things coming out. But let me know. I would be curious to see your response to it. Please make sure to join the Discord server. We're so close to 600 members already. So thank you very much for that. And make sure to subscribe because only 3% of my viewers are subscribed or something like that. So I would really appreciate it if you could. Thank you and mwah.